Ni hao, welcome back to the KVK status series. This is my intro. Right now, we are set for a 1v1 in Kingsland, but the opponent still remains unknown. So let's start with how we got here. We captured our pass and built a 4 near 2267's pass. Oh, right, this 4 over here. Somehow, we managed to fight into their zone without much pressure. They let us burn their forts and flags without much resistance, to be honest. So the members were like, we need to let our troops die, so they randomly zeroed some enemy cities and and that's that. And right now, Team B has stopped retaliating. Maybe they've accepted the fact that 2286 is trash, or maybe the officers of Team A reached consent for the reward distribution. Anyways, 2275 in the kingdom in the bottom right corner had zero chance of fighting but maybe they didn't try hard enough to join in the fight they could have built fort, forts near the level 5 passes and have 227's tree come and help them out but they didn't come out of their zone 4 so i assume that they have given up this kvk also 2286 didn't contribute much at all maybe they tried but 2280 was way too strong in Zone 5, Zarate, it was a 2v1, as you may or may not remember. 2280 versus 2267 and 2286. But somehow 2280 managed to fight 2v1 and controlled half of the Zone 5, blocking in 2286 into their Zone 4. But when 2286 had their fort over here, in this corner, they literally didn't fight at all. They didn't try to fight for the passes, they didn't try to help 2267, they didn't do anything. I think that 2286 won't be getting any rewards in this KVK. The two kingdoms that truly fought from Team B were only 2267 and 2273. Rest in peace to them because they are already in their zone force. Let's hope that they don't get trash teammates in their upcoming KVKs. You can see that 2273 still has flags outside of their zone 4, but I think that we will be able to burn them very quickly. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.